Today I want to talk about what's in my purse and what my purse is, what I'm carrying, um, what I've been wearing for probably the last three to four months. Um, and I like it. It's very um, durable. And so what I thought I'd do is just show you um, my purse and um, show you what I carry on the inside. And I haven't gone through it to clean it up. It's just the way it is. And uh, so let's get started. First of all, it's called Longchamp. It's L-O-N-G-C-H-A-M-P. Um, and I've heard it pronounced long champ, long champ, long whatever. I'm probably butchering it, but um, these purses have been around for a long, long time, but um, new to me. So I saw it on a um, YouTube video that was probably from... I don't know, 2014 or something, and I noticed that when I was scrolling, not that I did a search for it, um, it just came up, and I thought, I wonder what kind of bag that is. I love purses. I'm like a purse fiend, and so I'm really surprised that this just never came across my path. Maybe it did. I, you know, I'm not sure. I, I just... I don't know why it didn't interest me, but anyways, it came across my path, it interested me, and so with some, um, a little bit extra gift money that I had, I made a purchase, and I also made a purchase as a Christmas gift this year first. I did that first, um, because I liked what I saw, and I had a family member who really has um, a business and a need for the larger size. So this is what it looks like. Of course, mine is this. This is just a cute little pink pom-pom and um, a little a flashlight because sometimes I have to get down and see what's inside that purse. This I pretty much put on here just to amuse my um, granddaughter. Like if we're ever somewhere and she needs distraction and Come on, let's face it. I just think it's cute, so it's attached. But this is the mini Longchamp purse, and this is in the navy blue um, with this kind of um, brown caramely um, leather outline, and I have it in the short handles. And I want to tell you, this material, and you can get online and read all about it, because that's what I did, is just so durable. I mean, just so durable. To me, to me, it's just like a parachute material, you know, it's just almost indestructible and it wipes everything off beautifully. This thing has been through the ringer, especially since our move and, you know, just taking it everywhere, throwing it around and it's still, it looks great. Now, the um, one thing that I always like in a dressier purse are the... Um, feet on the bottom, but this doesn't have that and um, But I sure do love the size of it. Um, it's just been so convenient and I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it for a just this is like the everyday kind of purse So let me get on the inside and I'll kind of open it up and show you I got quite a bit in there and so I'll just start taking it out and showing it as I pull it out and the reason I'm doing this is because I love these videos I love watching what's in my bag what's in my purse and what kind of purse they're carrying and um, so here I just have a receipt from my orthodontist, which I had to pay a visit to today. And being new, I had to get a new one. And I needed one in a hurry because I kind of broke the permanent bar on the upper portion of my mouth. And uh, he was wonderful, loved the office. They got me right in. He fixed um, my top bar and he said, your bottom teeth are good to go. You don't need to wear your retainer anymore. And uh, put in a permanent fixture on the inside of my mouth. Did a great job, happy. 
And then this is one of my makeup bags that comes from Bath and Body. And um, I really couldn't tell you if they still have it. I've had this for uh, uh -huh, over 10 years. And, you know, it's seen better days, but I love it. And inside I have a little um, portable tissue. And I have um, Retouch and Erase Lightning Concealer. Um, I think this is, it's in Fair, and I think this actually is Milani. Have that in there. I don't hardly ever use it, but I do have it in there. And I have my e.l.f. little um, brush. You know, I forget what these are called. but And uh, this is um, my... This is called Performance 411 Pat McGrath. And I just have to show you, her lipsticks are so awesome. Has the outline of the little lips on them. And if you'll notice that when you turn, what will you notice? You notice that it turns. Oh, and, and you'll notice the little lips are in the front and as you turn the lipstick it's not in a perfect position so don't ask me what I'm doing with that so anyways this is the Pat McGrath lipstick and this is in color number 411 I'm not wearing it today but it's a really pretty bright pink and um, I like that so I have that what I meant to say is what I'm adding now this is the Pat McGrath lipstick um, that I have in there, and I was trying to demonstrate for you earlier when I originally pulled it out what it does. It has the outline of the little lips on it, and like I said, this is number 411, but if you'll notice, as you turn the lipstick and see how beautiful that color is alone, it is angled directly, slanted down towards your lips. So you can apply your lips and the lips are always pointed outwards. And that's just, you know, um, unique to her line, her design. And I just think that's so cool because you can just turn it and the lipstick comes up. And there it is, straight on and your lips are forward and just ingenious but that's part of the packaging so I wanted to share it with you because as you could see I was struggling before to demonstrate what does this do that's what it does but I was doing it backwards so aging gracefully I have an a bronzer from number seven why that's in there I'm not sure, but I'm going to put it in my makeup drawer because I don't need to carry that around. And uh, this is uh, Dior Lip Gloss. Always need a lip gloss because my lips always get dry. I have a, a NARS in there, almost gone, and this color is called Damage. It's a really pretty color. Whoops, I'll swatch it. And uh, it looks really super, super dark, but look at that. That's it right there. Um, and it's not. It's just really pretty. And uh, so I have that in there. I have a um, two little um, <clears throat> brushes from MAC that came in a little kit. And um, sometimes those little brushes come in handy. I have a, a Brow Wiz. It's in medium brown. I just carry it as a spare in case I need to do a touch-up. I have Pat McGrath um, lip liner in the complimentary color. Lined it right there. It's a really nice lip liner. It just kind of, I love to line my lips and fill in with it and then put a gloss over it. It's super nice. I also have um, NARS and this is, um, this is the Velvet Matte Pencil in, uh, uh, Cruella, very pretty. I wore this a lot. And that's the color there um, during the fall winter months. So I'm going to take that out also and change it out. I carry a pencil sharpener in there for, you know, those uh, uh, lip 
pencils and I also have Capari Lip Love. Can never have too much gloss. Actually my Dior is almost gone so I just stuck that in there. So that's what's in my makeup case that's in my makeup bag and uh, now ask me if that's the only one I have in my purse and I could tell you no it's not. Then I have my wallet and right now it's pretty sloppy. This is my coach wallet and um, this was a Christmas gift to me several, several years ago. I'll just cover everything up. It's just a tri-fold. I like it. has a little zipper portion here for, um, you know, your dollar bills or whatever. And then in here, another and lots of little compartments. And I've just had this wallet for so long. These are just some receipts that I need to um, enter. And um, I'll be doing that. I have this little brown notebook because you always need a notebook inside your purse and here's another cute little um I use it as a makeup bag but it kind of resembles like back in the day maybe a cigarette case bag I don't know um this says on it there's just this cool picture it says walk softly and carry a big purse and I was like oh my gosh that is so me um and inside I have my Chanel um Rouge Coco um it's just a clear lip gloss uh, balm actually this allows your lipstick to go on super slick it just moistens your lips it makes them nice and soft and um i use it like almost every day and then i have a small little uh buxom that um i got as a gift and, and this is blushing margarita and it's really pretty I can swatch it for you, even though this isn't uh, swatching. But that's a real pretty, I think, nice spring color and cover up. And this is my Tom Ford, and this lipstick is so pretty. So pretty. And I wear it a lot. And, you know, these lipsticks do not come cheap but I feel like they are so worth it this is in um, number 04 Indian Rose and it's it's I think very long lasting and it just fades into your lips and leaves a really nice color super nice so uh, then I have some mint evolution tic tacs in a pretty pastel blue color and I have, oh dear, one, two, yeah, let's see. I'm kind of a pen thief, but I think most of these came from home. I have six pens in my purse. Now, what is the purpose of that? I'll tell you, because every time I go somewhere, I try to keep them in the car, but somebody always takes them out and I need a pen or I see something or I hear something and I add a you know, light and I want. I'm just not one to pull out the phone and put it in my notes. I want to write things down or so I'm always grabbing a pen before I leave. So right now I am going to replace into my purse one pen and the rest will go back into the pen holder. And then I have um, fresh sugar lip caramel because like I said, you can never have too many lip glosses and balms and I don't need to carry around three like you could see I already showed you two but in the winter mm, when my lips get dry I get crazy if I don't have something to moisten them up um, carrying a little container of Advil a necessity and here I just have a little uh, mirror which is just so nice because sometimes I have to uh, retouch up a smudge in the eye or the eyebrow and so that comes in really handy. And then I just had a couple of um, cards that I've picked up along the way and these will go into my card folder. And uh, this is my card case that I carry around all of my um, not my, you know, credit cards, those always stay in my wallet, but these are my cards for like 
Ulta, Sephora, Marshalls, Big Lots, you know, anything I need is right there. And this is a nifty little case. I bought a gray one and a black one and I got them on Amazon and it holds a lot and I like it because I don't have to intermix all of these cards with my, you know, really important cards that I always want to be able to have that eyes view of right there, my credit card, you know, whatever I have, my insurance cards, and then I can separate all my other, um, I call them bonus cards. And um, in this baggie, I have been looking for a jeweler because I have my Kate Spade watch that broke and um, I need to have it fixed so I'm hoping that as I'm driving around learning my way around the area that I will find a good jeweler and uh, I'll have it with me. I need to get that taken care of like real soon. And then my car keys and I just have this cute little quilted keychain that I bought someplace we were visiting some little Amish community. I don't remember if it was in Illinois or Indiana or where it was, but anyways, I've had that for a long time. And then a nail file. Need a nail file all the time. Oh, look at here. I'm getting to the end here. Another makeup case. This is a little makeup case that was from Mac and a couple of those little brushes came in there. And in here, I am carrying my airbrush flawless finish. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, love this, have one up in my vanity and one in the purse. And then I have this cute little VIB Rouge um, brush that I got this year. And uh, this is the MAC, um, goes with those other two brushes that came in this little um, kit that they had at Christmas time. And I carry around a um, chart blush. It's one of those little birthday sample ones and this is an exposed and it's so pretty. It looks real deep but it's not. It goes on. It's buildable. These blushes are super good. They last a long time. They don't break down on your skin. They don't fade. So super, super nice. And um, oh, <laughs> this is just a little baggie. It has my retainer in it from the dentist. So now I can put that to rest. So happy. And uh, I have a pair of um, earphones in this little carrying pouch in case I need an extra pair of earphones. And I have, wow, a whole 26 cents, a quarter and a penny. I'm rich. And then I have hmm, a fortune from a cookie that says you will make many changes before settling satisfactorily. And boy, I'm not too sure when that came around, but that is true. I had to make many changes and just a little bit of debris tissue uh, paper. And that's it. It's empty. And I had all of that in here. And now I'm going to show you what's so nice about these little purses. When not in use, they, oh, I'm just going to push the air out. They fold up so nicely. So the bottom comes up halfway and then So the bottom comes up halfway and then you fold the sides in and then you once again oops you fold it in half bring the lid over and snap it shut and it makes it so nice for if you're traveling and you're carrying other purses it's so compact it's great for storage and like i said super super durable so for christmas um, i purchased one as a gift for uh, my daughter-in-law and she loves it loves it she uses it for her work and she just said it so much fills up in it and she has the one with the bigger handle and it is the very large one and so I am very interested in purchasing other larger bags like this um, especially 
for use for traveling. Now they have one that's a medium with the shoulder strap, so I might even look into that if I know I'm going somewhere for the day, maybe shopping out and, and need something a little bit bigger than this. But this is so durable, and like I said, you can fit so much in it. Um, it's just a great bag and I love it. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions about it, I just purchased this through Nordstrom um, because I also had a gift card. So I wanted to use it wisely. And um, it's really, really beautifully made. And the workmanship is just impeccable and stitched well it's very very durable and you know it's just one of those things that you don't see on sale hardly ever but um it's worth it it's just a great purse and if you're like me and you're hard on your purses then this might be something you really like so until next time be kind be humble and age gracefully bye